Okay. So this is a terrible old man. This is a bite-sized Lovecraft game. It's made by Cloak and Guy Games, who also made a date in the park, a football game. I should really play a date in the park actually for this channel. It's a kind of weird um real life photorealistic model point and click. When I say photorealistic model, uh, using real actors, I can't think of the actual word. But um yeah, let's have a look see. So Angelo, when are we gonna blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow, it's a few hours drive to Boston. How long are we staying there for? Oh, I'd say just the night. We've got to keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham. That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know. Hey, say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Incredible. Kazanic? Zanic? Why don't you give her? Why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Get some beers while you're at it. <clears throat> You've still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, I've got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. How that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken four dollars. Better old Manuel here spends on hooch than they sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get some beers, boy. Uh, left click to move out, right click to observe. Move close to the top of the screen. I am ready. Okay, so we've got a car key, we've got a little bit of cash. That's one mighty fine looking broad. What's she doing in this pair, ta pair of a town? I do not know. Say that, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Hey, hey, hey. No need for that kind of language. I'm merely trying to compensate. Go compensate elsewhere, maybe to your mother. Struck out again, Kanzik? Kaznak? Kaznak? Suit yourself. Okay. Pictures we go over here. They've tried to decorate this dump with old prints. Picture has a caption. A local Kingsport fisherman. Nothing. There's nothing interesting here. Just dusty pictures of local goons. Some fancy looking curtains. Doesn't suit this dive bar one bit. This would be better. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Innsmouth, isn't that where the uh, fish people are? Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manner, stranger. Folks are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Please. That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. I mean, nice way to address them. By Lovecraft, they have a bit of a reputation. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Three beers for two dollars. That means it was cheap. That's why it was, it was cheap. First time that the barrel is drunk, I'm gonna have to roll up roll up a new one. Sit tight. It's like sixty seven cents a beer. Sigh. Oh, these are the two guys sat next to us, I guess. Dicky eating his dinner yet? I swear we saw a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You taking him to Doc Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since he's running with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. 
What happened? You know that very old man? Former sea captain of some sort. You see him around town. Pays for his groceries in golden doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. Heard he talks to bowls he has lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. It's as if he's speaking to his old crew. Yeah, most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dickie a bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window, you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about exactly what happened. Oh dear. Whoa! He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones for old people's windows and well, they aren't going to be happy no matter how feeble they are. I told him he's not leaving the house for a month apart from going to his lessons. You must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Picked up the game. The, the old man must be saying our fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships back in the east, unaccountable years back, and brought back untold. Uncountable years back, and brought back untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thanks. Boys, you're not going to believe it. You got a date with that broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. We'll spit it out then. I heard these two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. This sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. There's something really uncomfortable about... Like, it's just such a simple character design, but those portraits... are quite... weird. Where's the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, connect, connect. Find out. Find out, we may find riches tonight. Say, fellas, what was you guys, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? I just heard your story, he sounds like character. Indeed he is, shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. He said something about bottles. Sometimes people see him through the window with a lineup of curious bottles sitting on a table. Each bottle is some sort of object inside. Pendulum, some say. And he's been seen to chat to them, waving his arms around. I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind. Too much time at sea. He was a sea captain? Yes, though back in a time nobody remembers. Rumour has it he spent decades in the Far East. Some say he talks to the bottles as if they were his crew members. What else you know about him? You're asking a lot of questions, stranger. Yes, leave us be. You guys from Kingsport? Born and bred. Me too. Where are you from? I was suburb of Boston. City boy, eh? Cosmopolitan type. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Uh, I doubt we're getting an answer to this. Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast, a crumbling ancient pile of this too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? Treasure hunter, are you? No. Good, the last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Um, 
That's a no. No one likes that last one. I doubt we're going to get away with long lost relatives since we didn't know anything about him. Found something that belongs to him. Wish to return it. Uh, interview for the local paper. And what's the name of the local paper then? Kingsport Commune? Wrong. You, sir, are a pathological liar. Oh my god, okay. Do you know anything about the rich old man who lives in town? Oh, you are back again. Don Juan with doesn't stop trying tonight, does he? I'm a very persistent man, man. I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everyone that must know it. Leave me alone. That's bad. Hey, sweetie. Get lost. What do you know? About a rich old man lives in town. Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Pah. Why don't you tell me about the two guys at the bar? Hey, we're right here. <laughs> <laughs> Find your own business, stranger. What he said. What can you tell me about the broad over there? She's in here working all the time. Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Later. Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Right, okay, let's try and... Not you again, I'm busy. Yeah? What are you working on? Apart from looking pretty. Dude. Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah? Why is your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa. Big shot. Why am I talking to you? So you write for the paper? Yeah. The Kingsport Daily Star. Interesting. I get lost for I'll write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay. Bring your knickers back on, lady. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? We wish to interview him for the local paper. Oh, yeah? What's the name of the local paper? It'd be the Daily Star. And you're... Ridiculous for not remembering me getting it wrong earlier. Nonsense. It's the truth. A journalist from Boston. We do freelance work. Sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs onto Ship Street in the shore. Outside his home are curious foreign standing stones. An unmistakable sight. Thanks. I appreciate it. Fellas, I got the address. Good work, canny boy. Kazeni? Kazeni boy? Kazenik? Oh, probably. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbour. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Let's go, boys. There's present treasure to be had. Hmm. All right, we're here. What's the plan, boss? Silver, you and I will go through here. Th this here gate. Kazanik, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything though, looks like there's a light on up there. Kazanik, can you uh, can you have a better look? You gotta make sure he ain't watching us. Okay. I'm not messing with the guy until we're set to go. <coughs> oh damn.
What do you think of this place? Well, the house looks like it's seen better days. Hey, let's go and get to work, doesn't it? Is that it? Where do you think there's standing stones in front? Beats me. They give me the creeps. Maybe. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Can you get a closer look in that window? We need to double check what we're dealing with. The old man might have a shotgun fix and it's now for all we know. Ah, oh, dear. Hmm. <clears throat> Trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Good job, we have a key. And put the key just for the English. You don't have the key for the trunk, do you? No, I don't. Don't tell me you've lost a goddamn key, can I? Cause any? No, 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 no. Do you have the key for the trunk? Oh god, please. How oh, balls I do? Here you go. Cheers. <clears throat> Scratchy throat. Oh, good. A good robber always comes prepared. We got spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. He's in there. Oh, sorry. Silly old fool looks like the easiest target we've ever had. Good work, Zenny. He really is talking to a bunch of old balls. As long as we're quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He's engrossing his queer little persons. Perfect. You got a mask then? Uh, I do. Here's the masks. Okay, get the gate open. Ha! We're in. Good work, Zenith. Okay, Silver, let's go in. How are we going to play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That, even, that's if the gold is even hidden. If he's a senile, as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man can easily be muffled. Silver, you've hit the nail on the head. Oh, you two are just so pleasant. Kazenik, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. Richie. Ricky, Richie. Remember, be gentle. Oh man, that guy has a heart. Oh, lights gone out. One hour later. The hell is taking them so long? What ha what's happened? They better not knock the old fella off. I told them, I told them, I said don't go too hard on the old goat. Ah, here they come. That's not them. Um... Oh dear. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talk all that spring and summer.
about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses, and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels which the tide washed in. Huh. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Ah. So that was the terrible old man. Another little short horror point and click game. This one's sort of based on Lovecraft, of course. I mean, like that. Again, like, there's only so much you can do with such a short running time. So, like, there doesn't need to be puzzles. They just need to be able to tell a good story. And. I mean, there's been. There's been some dire Lovecraft. A trailer for a new uh, for one of their games, I imagine. I believe, I believe in God. Incantainment. Encantament. Actually, I have seen. I've seen a little bit about that. And that does look interesting. Encantamentum is nigh. Wish list now on Steam. Okay, like I said, these guys have done football games. They've also done Days in the Park. They've got quite a few short little. Ah. Ah, okay, so that's the um, the boy that the guy was talking about there. Yeah, so that's that one. Um, see you guys again.